Today my friend Mitchell is going to show you how to make some pretty cool planters out of soda bottles and a mop handle. Wait, what? I was online and I saw these great planters for outside. They were $92. Immediately I thought, not only can I make that, but I have everything in my house right now to do so. And you do too, so I'm going to show you how. I think I might have found this mop. It might have come with my house when I bought it. You can probably find one in your garage or your neighbor's or at least maybe at your grandmother's house. I know that you can buy them at the dollar store for like a dollar. Now I'm using this mop handle because it's hollow. This will provide drainage for our planter. I'm turning it over to the bottom of the handle because that's the big hollow side. This smaller side will be easier to spike into the ground when we're done. So this is pretty close. I am using a razor knife. Try to be careful. I do want to get just the top of this bottle off. This is regular old duct tape, and it will last forever. So if you cut little slits, you have more control around the curve. So I'm gonna put my hot glue right here, just a little bit. I'm going to stick this on. This is where I choose to do my most shallow point, and then we'll pick this off. I would advise not eyeballing this part. In this bottom, we're going to put rocks. Then we're going to put potting soil. Then we're going to put the plant. So I don't want to make this too far down at the bottom. So I'm going to go about keeping in mind what all is going to be in here. I'm going to make my short part right here. And the tall part, I can make as tall as I want. I think it'll look the best if I get right under this curve. Okay, so I just put a little hole right there to start, but I'm gonna cut it out with my kitchen scissors. I'm gonna cut above where my line is so I can just get this top part off. Then we can go in and do the details. We'll know if that's not right when we paint it. And now it's time to paint. My favorite part. I'm painting this pink because it goes with my friend's house. We're gonna, we're gonna stick this in my friend's yard because I care about her and like to make her presents. It's better to do always light coats, a bunch of them, than one big heavy coat that drips. This is already metal. And this paint is ultra coverage, but really, with spray paint, you can get it for 99 cents a can and have whatever color of anything you want. I do not mind getting paint on my hands, but if you do, you can use little rubber gloves. And we're gonna let this sit for a minute and I'll probably go over it again. It's only gonna take a minute to dry and then we'll come back and do another coat. Now see this, there was a second where that black was showing through, but we hit it with one more coat and now it's not. You know what's gonna be fun, I thought of, is using a couple of these for a little detailing around this. And all I have to do is hit it real quick with the glue gun, just a tiny, tiny bit. The glue can just be one bead running down like this and then wrapping the twine. So I really like how this detailing of the mop rope turned out. It's all dry and I think uh, ready to plant. This is my favorite part. Okay, I'm gonna loosen these roots up just like I was taught. I'm gonna pull off a little bit of this on the bottom. Put this in, right in there. Look at that. I'm gonna add a little water to these in a second and we're ready to enjoy them. Remember these were $93 online and we just made them for nothing. I don't think I paid a thing for the supplies. Had it all already.